Wang, good morning, I hope that you're all well, and welcome back to the channel. Now, right, first things first, I, I know what you're thinking. For fuck's sake, like, not another video on that absolute fat tub allowed. But, like, somehow him saying the N-word. I tell a nigger don't die, right? Or him literally noncing on a 15-year-old. Kian, come and sit on my face. So somehow that isn't as bad as it gets. But yeah, si since the last video that I've done on him, he's managed to go through like seven accounts, I think, all of which have been banned. Like surely if that's not a sign to get off the internet, I, I, I just don't know what is. But anyway, since like getting completely banned on TikTok, he's only gone and managed to find his way over to YouTube, where all he really does is just chat shit on life for hours on end and record himself for 20 minutes a day eating enough to feed a bloody hippo. Mmm, lovely. But anyways, being live for like nearly 10 hours a day and just Ian being the dickhead that he is, he's definitely said some weird shit. But yeah, enough said, let's just have a look at some of his best bits. Or probably worse bits is a bit more fitting. It's a big one, isn't it? I love how you can literally just hear him panting down the mic. Like, surely you just look at that and think, yeah, maybe what I'm doing isn't the most healthy thing. <laughs> what in the fuck was the point of that? Like, is this really as low as we've gone as a society? <laughs> like, I, I really don't want any part in humanity anymore. Like, I'm, ne I'm really not surprised that his parents, like, disowned him. But anyway, that clip is pretty much as good as it gets. It, it, it's, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> I am funny. I do try to be funny, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly trying to decide whether that was tr him trying to be funny or just him having a bloody epileptic fit. Like, I know I've probably said this more than this man's had his own home-cooked meals, but is, is he actually alright? Like, th this really is a normal human behaviour. I don't think it is anyway, I hope it's not. But anyways, like, let, let, let's just see if Ian can, I don't know, pull himself out the mud with all the shit he's been saying. He, he definitely can't. I brush my teeth, dickhead. That's cigarettes, okay? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not got something to do with the fact that he eats probably enough sugar per day to feed a whole family of five for a year or anything. Like, the next thing you know, he'll be blaming the bloody supermarkets as the reason he's so fat. Your mum's never washed her mini. That's why it stinks of fish, okay? She's got a fishy fucking fanny flaps. Um, okay. This this really doesn't have anything to do with anything. Like, I mean, all he's really said is just, Ian, lad, y your teeth, they, they look a bit shit, mate. But I mean, you know, who doesn't love a classic your mum joke? Like, truly the peak of comedy as we know it. But you know what? When you're drunk, sometimes you don't care she's got a fishy fanny. You just stick it in her and give her a good fucking seeing too, the slag. Surely this counts as some sort of, like, sexual assault against this poor lad's mother. Like, she's literally done nothing wrong. She doesn't even know what the fuck an Ian Moore is. But honestly, like, I, I would literally love nothing more than to see Ian in an orange jumpsuit. And she loves it. She loves it, mate, feeling nice, young, 35-year-old dick inside your 90-year-old mum's pussy. I think it's safe to say that absolutely no one would enjoy that. They'd probably just have them scared for the rest of their life. And I mean, that's if they don't just pack themselves in straight afterwards. And then she likes me to come over her face because she likes to drink afterwards. It's all vitamins, you see. <laughs> all fucking vitamins. Oh, 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 I've actually heard it all now. Like, can you imagine just going down your local pharmacy and just going up to the counter and be like, yeah, yeah, can I have a bit of vitamin C, please? Or I don't know what the fuck you get there. And then they just go like, yes, lad, and then just fucking hand you back a bottle of Ian Moore's jizz. Like, that's the stuff of fucking nightmares. But anyways, moving on from that shit show, you know, Ian's a very fucking philosophical person. So, uh, Ian, do you want to, you know, take it away and tell us, you know, how you'd like to die? I mean, not like you're far from it, given the size of you. You know, and I would love to die being shagged. I would love it. Well, n not the answer I was expecting, but, y you know, carry on. Literally in every position possible. On my back, on my front, really give me a good go in that, and then literally die will come inside me. That's how I want to die. Well, you know, some people might want to die a millionaire. Other people might just want to die peacefully with their family around them. You're wrong. This right, this right here is the only correct way to die. So listen to the wise man's words. Having a guy give me a good, really good go in that. That's how I want to go, you know? This lad, you know, he really does set the highest of standards for his life. You know, like, what a goal that would be to achieve. And that's how you got to look at it, guys. you got to look at your dreams, what you want in life. And I want a nice, sexy, you know, 20, 30-year-old guy. Come on, Ian. No, no need to lie to yourself. You know how you like them. You like them 15 years old or younger. Really hot stud that wants a nice fat man 
put his hands all around my tits, touch my body. I feel like if someone actually did end up touching Ian, they'd probably not have enough grease on their hands to last them for a lifetime. Really give my good ass, good ass a good going at. And I can confirm when Ian says he has a good ass, he, he's not lying. Fuck me, silly. Make me sniff poppers. Do the lot, you know? I don't care. Well, uh, geez, that escalated quickly. So, uh, short-term side effects of poppers makes your heart rate speed up. Well, like I'm telling you now, if his heart rate speeds up any fucking more, it's gonna bloody explode. And also makes your orgasm last longer and help relax anal muscles. Ian, you right fucking mad, lad. Get pedophile! Your mum's a pedo, mate. Your mum takes up the shitter, mate. Dirty little slag. She loves it up there, mate. Well, I mean, he's not denied it, so d does that confirm it? Fucking Your mum's a dirty fucking whore, whore mate. Fucking whore. 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 I think that just more or less sums up the state of Ian. Just, just chat shit about other people's mothers. But anyways, that more or less sums up what Ian's been up to recently. If anyone's wondering how Ian's merch shop has been doing, then uh, let this just sum it up. Like, it's been a fucking month, Ian. You can take the decorations down now. But anyways, yeah, that is the end of the video there. If you could, you know, drop a like and subscribe, that'd be class. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I want to take you to the back of Steve's car and give you a good scene too, literally.